It's time for us to do an example of a contact stress problem. The last problem that we solved in lecture 26 had to do with a stock spur gear with a diametral pitch of eight teeth per inch, a face width F equals 1.5 inches, 16 tooth made of ASI 1020 steel, and we came up with a horsepower rating for that particular gear. We rated the horsepower at 5.38, and a pitch line velocity on the gear of 628 feet per minute. This gave us a velocity correction factor of 1.52, a face width of 1.5 for that particular gear. And if we use 5.38 horsepower, then we have a tangential force that would be equal to 283 pounds. The other thing that we know is that the tooth force, which acts along the pressure line would be this tangential this tangential force divided by the cosine of the pressure angle and that gives us a load of approximately 300 pounds so that's the load that we would use in our contact stress but we don't have a contact stress until we mate one gear to another and so let's just go ahead and imagine we are mating to a 50 tooth gear and we're going to make it a 50 tooth cast iron gear because the cast iron gear would be made differently than the steel gear, our velocity factor would be different for cast iron. But we can still calculate an elastic coefficient CP, and then we can decide if we want to calculate a contact stress, sigma C, and in order for us to calculate that contact stress, we need to know a few things. We need to know the elastic coefficient for the material pair, so that means I need to know the pinion elastic modulus, the gear elastic modulus, and the Poisson's ratios of the two. The elastic modulus for steel would be 30 MPSI. The Poisson's ratio for steel would be 0 0.292. The elastic modulus for cast iron is about 14.5 MPSI, and the Poisson's ratio for cast iron is 0 0.211. So we plug those things into this equation for 1413, and we calculate an elastic coefficient of 1,817 root TSI. Let's see how it agrees with table 14.8, where we have elastic coefficients, and it gives the units. The elastic modulus of steel is 30. If you look for cast iron, it's telling me that the elastic modulus is going to be 22. So, ha, we have a difference between what we would calculate and what we would get out of this table. And so what we would do if we wanted to use this table is we would look at the steel pinion and the cast iron gear and we would get a value of CP that would be 2100 root PSI. So that is from table 14.8 we have that CP is 2100 root PSI. Now, if we want to figure out what the contact stress is on the steel gear, then we're going to use the KV that we found last time, and it's just equal to 1.52 for the milled steel gear. Remember, those equations for the velocity correction factor are different depending upon how you make the gear. The other thing that we need to do is we need to figure out what R1 is, which you know is the pinion diameter divided by two times the sine of the pressure angle. Well, the pinion diameter is two inches. We figured that out before. We divide that by two, we get one times the sine of 20 degree pressure angle, which is 0 0.342. Now we got to figure out what the gear diameter is. It turns out that for this 50 tooth gear, 6.25 inches, divide that by two, multiply that by the sine of 20 degrees, and we get an R2 value of 1.069 inches. So now that we have an elastic contact coefficient, we have our two radii, we can go back to this contact equation right here, 1414, and we can input all of our parameters. So my contact stress is just going to be given by minus the elastic coefficient, 1817 root PSI. I multiply that by my 1.52 kV correction, my 300 pound force, and I'm not going to divide it now by the coast 20, my 1.5 inch face diameter, and I have 1 over 
0 0.342 plus 1 over 1 1.069. I take the square root of all of that and I find a contact stress of minus 72,259 PSI. I don't know what my factor of safety is until I know what my design allowable is.